everyone welcome back back in the garden today and working on putting some of the plants that I had started in the ground so my onions cabbage kohlrabi and some kale I have some Brussels sprouts too so I'll probably put them in not really sure where I want to put those in I was trying to save as much as this is the vegetable garden I was trying to save more space for flowers this year just so that way they're in an easy spot for me to irrigate them um, once we hook up our water down at the pond, I'm able to pump water up here to the garden and then I normally have um, irrigation lines and drip lines run so that I can, well actually they're soaker hoses. I have those run so that I can water everything without having to use the well or carry a bunch of water, watering cans out. I can just turn those on and come back and change them throughout the day. So, I planted all of my Patterson onions. The only thing I have left are my Walla Wallas, and they did not germinate well. You know, there should have been 50 or more plants in here, but I have four. So, I'm not sure what caused the poor germination. I did try to start from seed outdoors. I don't know if it's been too dry because this soil is pretty dry up here by the onions, or if it was too cold for them to germinate and they just haven't germinated yet, which is possible. Um, you can definitely start onions from seed in the ground around here. Totally possible. I have a couple, uh, couple different people I know that do that. I just haven't had good luck this year. This is the first year I tried from seed. Um, at least in the ground. I've done it from seed in tray start indoors for the last three years. So the nice thing about onions, the roots on them are really wiry. So they don't actually tangle together. So you can start them more or less like you would hold this, I put like 50, 60 seeds in a cell. Whatever comes up, comes up. And then I can just pull them apart. So these ones don't have as many because they're didn't germinate as well so they break apart really easily but you can see like these two right here all I have to do is kind of tease the dirt away and even though their roots are grown together they pull right apart so then I can dig down put them in the ground and they will take off they will not look pretty for the first mm, I'm gonna say for the first day or two they are gonna look stunted they're gonna look like they're gonna die they're not gonna look happy but once they get accustomed to being in the ground they turn right around and take right off so I've had good success with it I'll bring you along for getting them in the ground So I dug up one of my onion seeds that I had put out there. It looks like it's just starting to sprout. So I think a little bit is, uh, I think it's the soil temperature and just the air temperature to get them to germinate. So I think they're going to come. I think they just need a little bit more time and probably some moisture. So I'm going to try not to disturb them too much here. I do have a couple more walla wallows to try to get in the ground. Um, everything down that way. Those are all Patterson's. So I, I kind of like to keep them separated. The Pattersons store for a long time. The Walla Wallas do not. So we're going to put this guy back. Back, cover him up. Wait and see if he comes. He takes off. So I might sneak these in along the edge here. Like I said, I like to keep them separated because the Pattersons store well. 
and the Walla Wallas are a really high sugar content onion and they don't store well so I like to either use them up or make a dressing out of them and freeze that rather than store them. So you can see this cell really didn't have much more. Okay, down here by the spinach, I'm going to put my kale in here, and then I'm going to put cabbage along this back here, um, and I might put the Brussels sprouts over here where I normally have my zucchini plants, and then just do zucchini and summer squash on the other side. Again, I don't need as many plants as I ever put in the ground, so I think this might be a good way to force me to not plant so many, so let's get these in the ground. Alan. Now I'm going to try cabbage and Brussels sprouts here. I'm going to do cabbage along the back and I'm going to leave that kind of like a little walking edge along the back, partially so that I can weed, partially so I can get back to the back side. Um, and then Brussels sprouts up front. baby Brussels sprouts. I started them on let's see, April 9th, which is way later than I probably should have started them. But the last time I grew Brussels sprouts, I started them really early, like when they said to. And then I had Brussels sprouts ready, but we took forever for us to get a frost. Not that I want to rush a frost, so that they would kind of flavor up. So Brussels always taste a little bit better if they go through a cold period. They're very, very heavy nitrogen feeding plant, so you have to feed them all summer long. They're, they're not something you can put in the ground and just let go. They will take everything out of the soil and then some. So, I'm going to try them again this year. They just germinated probably two weeks ago, so they should be easy to separate. Not sure how it'll go. You can see there's a little bit of root growth. I'm going to separate them out and try them.
I planted onions, kohlrabi, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Everything was started on April 9th. Growth has been kind of slow. These are all cool weather crops, so they all actually do better in cool weather. Uh, meaning like our springtime temperatures and a frost, a light frost isn't going to hurt them. Um, they were actually out here last night. And we were 31 and had a very light frost and they all look fine. Um, they probably are going to have a little bit of transplant shock. I'm going to make sure I keep on watering them every day, at least once a day, if not twice a day. My husband is going to set up the water pump so that I can pump everything up from the pond. And everything's, you know, getting started for the gardening season. The only thing I really need to find at this point is some mulch. Got to figure out what I'm going to do for that. So, need to find some straw. But everything's going really well. Thanks for joining me today to put these in the ground. I hope you have a great one.